The fight got worse and someone pulled out a gun and they started shooting. The shots was like, fa, 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 fa. You remember they were shooting, it was like 20 or 25 shots. A fight after a high school graduation held at Xavier this morning leads to a deadly shooting. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Sharice Gibson. Officials say that despite having security posted inside and out for the high school graduation held at Xavier today, three people were shot and one of them, a grandmother of one of these graduates, died. The NOPD says that it started as a fight in the parking lot between two women. And Erica Ferrando is joining us live from Xavier. Erica, what do we know about the shooting? Katie and Sharice, just within the last minutes, the crime tape that was in this parking lot has been removed. This is where three people were shot just before noon. It's right next to this building on Xavier's campus where the graduation was held this morning. And it was as graduates and their families started leaving, they heard gunshots. It, it never needs to go, go get this far. Morris Jeff High School graduate Lewis Hall was leaving Xavier's Convocation Center with family when he learned a fight broke out in the parking lot right outside. They were fighting. They My cousin like, let me know. He was like, they fighting over there. Let's go. And I went, I wasn't moving, did not hear gunshots. That's when everybody started to run. And it was just more and more and more of them. He and his family were safe, but according to graduates we spoke with, someone's grandmother was shot. I found out that one of my friends, grandma, uh, got shot right in the middle of the street, and she didn't have anything to do with it. You know? She was innocent. And it, it, it's just, you know, it's, it's not cool. NOPD confirmed an elderly woman died. She was one of three people shot. The other two were men. NOPD has not confirmed their ages or if they were graduates. There was a gunshot wound to the shoulder and the other one sustained a gunshot wound to the leg. According to NOPD Deputy Superintendent Chris Goodley, the incident started when a fight broke out just after the graduation ceremony ended. Between apparently two females in the parking area behind me. He says after the fight, someone pulled out a gun and started shooting. Investigators found several weapons and are still trying to figure out who fired the shots and whether there were multiple shooters. Senseless, senseless act of violence at this time. My mom took all of us and just kind of huddled us in the corner. Logan Mitchell is visiting from Nebraska for his sister's graduation. This is something that these kids are supposed to be able to turn back and look on and be proud of, but now they're going to think of this. Graduate Joseph Neighbor agrees, a day of pride shattered by violence. Now you just shot somebody, Grandma, you just shot an old lady. Like, congratulations. You know what I'm saying? You shot that old lady. This unfortunate incident did not have to happen. It's just sad. NOPD told us this afternoon at least three people were taken into custody for questioning, but so far no arrests have been made, and they are asking anyone who may have seen who fired those shots to call police so they can try and wrap up this investigation. For now, live from Xavier, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. All right, it is sad on so many levels. Thank you, Erica. And today's shooting happened less than two weeks after someone opened fire at a high school graduation held in Hammond. That shooting also started with an argument between students at Hammond High and and their families as they were leaving at the ceremony at Southeastern. Police arrested a 20 year old suspect and said more arrests in that case were likely. Governor Edwards sent a statement to say he hopes people join him in prayer for the victims, but he also said, quote, in light of recent gun violence in Buffalo and Uvalde, gun safety discussions and action involving expanded background checks and red flag laws are very much in order. The head of Morris Jeff School, Patricia Perkins, says, quote, every day we teach our children to solve their differences with their words and be compassionate toward each other. Our graduates will make a difference in this world because they learn to see each other as equal human beings. This resolve is only stronger after today's violence.